Today on Newsbreak, we'll have our second round of Halloween trivia. We'll also take a look at Dance of the Week. All this and more on this Friday, October 28, 2016. Good afternoon, SLHS. I'm Brittany Elkin. I'm Austin Aaron Storff. Let's take a look at your top stories for today. Football cheerleaders need to turn in their uniforms to Miss Perry at ASAP. There will be an Indian football banquet on Sunday, October 30th at 2 p.m. in the high school commons. Senior and junior families, please bring a dessert to share. Key Club's hosting the Halloween Dance and Costume Contest tonight from 9 p.m. to midnight in the Black Box. Cost is $5 with all funds going towards the purchase of fleece to make no-sew blankets for newborns in local hospitals. The deadline to register for the December ACT is November 4th. The first practice for wrestling cheer will be November 3rd from 3.45 to 5.30 p.m. Basketball cheer sign-up is now in office. Practices and a meeting time will be announced soon. Happy birthday today to Rebecca Goyne. Now it's saying over to Kai Kai with today's weather. All right, so it'll be, it'll be a little warmer today. Uh, sunny this afternoon, 15 to 20 mile an hour sustained winds. Gusts as high as 30, low 48 tonight. And then tomorrow, feeling those fall temperatures again, high of just 57. It'll be cloudy and there's like a 40% chance of rain. So very slight in the afternoon, uh, low 37 tomorrow night, and down, down in Fort Dodge for the state cross country meet, it's a high of 66, so that should be a little bit nicer for the runners. And then on Sunday, it'll be sunny again with a high of 55 and a low of 46. So let's look at your weather, back to you guys. Taking a look at your sports for today, three SLHS cross country runners will be competing in the state meet tomorrow in Fort Dodge. Courtney Delberdang will run in the 3A girls race beginning at noon. Sophomores Aiden Bauerweiser and Mason McCaffrey are scheduled to run at 12.30. We will have all the results on Monday's show. Best of luck to the girls swimmers who will be participating in the district meet also held in Fort Dodge tomorrow. Watch Monday's show for results. That's what your sports for today. Back to you guys. Now let's send it over to Dance of the Week. The full video will be available on our journalism website. Okay, so we have Kyler with three points going undefeated yesterday, Abby with one, Dawson with one, and Sierra, who is now Courtney, with one. So let's get started. All right, our first question. How much candy is consumed by an average American on Halloween? A, 3.4 pounds, B, 2.2 pounds, C, 1 pound, and D, 4.1 pounds. That's a lot of candy. Wow. That's a lot of candy. Not healthy. Diabetes. Diabetes. <laughs> Diabetes. <laughs> Tell you what. All right. Okay. I put B. I also put B. I also. A. Oh. The answer was A. 3.4 yes. pounds of candy. That's insane. Guy guy is not coming on for you this time. I have kissed that. All right. For our second question, what phobia do you suffer from if you have a fear of Halloween? A. Phasmophobia. B. Samophobia. C, Wiccophobia, or D, Halloween phobia? <laughs> oh. Is this a trick question? I can't even pronounce this. Let's go. Alright. Okay, I'm ready. I put C. I put A. C. Oh. Okay, none of you got it right. Oh, it's no. actually B. Oh. I was gonna say C. In our third and final question of the day, the first jack-o'-lantern was carved out of A, an apple, B, a pumpkin, C, a turnip, or D, a gourd. I got this Oh, I got this one. Oh, you know. Yeah, I do. I got it. So. Uh, I put D. D. C. Oh, D. Turnip. The correct answer was C, a turnip. That's right, guys. How do you know this? Alright, so we will have your scores on next Monday and our last round of Halloween trivia on Halloween Day. So back to you, Courtney. That's all the time we have for today. Have a great day.